<laughs> All right, let's get this video up. Let me open this up. And go to do to do do to do. Hello, testing, testing, one, two. Making sure the audio is good. Hopefully, I'll have my mute on. Hello, 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 hello. I don't hear it. Sugar and spice and everything nice. What did I do? I want everything here. How come I can't hear myself? Maybe it's just, oh, I, I can hear it. Okay, it's not. It's a little echo, not echoey, but it does sound a little cray cray. Hopefully, it'll be alright. Hopefully, it'll be alright, you guys. It's a high pitch. Let's see. Let's see. Hello, my wonderful people. <laughs> Ningun Cray Cray, this is Janet. Hi, Janet. Hi, Jackie. I upgraded. Woo! Yay, my first live stream on my new laptop. No more having to hook up the extra mics. Now I have mics out the wazoo, but it's all good. Because cuando se me joda, then I have another one to replace it. So today, today is going to be a little bit interesting because I'm going to be altering this box right here. And I'm going to draw a face here. And then I'm going to add octopus legs. I'm going to add charms. I'm going to add chains. I'm going to add balls. I'm going to add flowers and dun, da, 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 I'm going to add some of the pieces that I made. I got my little box. It's so full. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. If I am loud, you guys, I cannot help it because the mic is literally, the webcam mic is literally right over my head. So it might sound like I'm shouting and I know I talk loud normally. Um, so if you want to put your volume down just a little bit, I will not get offended since I will not know. So thank you so much. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm talking to Tito and Juana, but I can't see them. So I got some pieces, yes, that I was cooking today. And I got my little fairy that I'm going to put into her hair. I'm going to put a whole bunch of stuff, you guys. You've seen me do this before, but this is going to be a little bit different, I think, because... I am also going to be kind of doing a poetry improv, if you will. Um, and what I mean by that is that I'm going to be kind of like asking you guys for like a word or a phrase or something so that I can kind of rhyme to it or do some kind of um, poetry skit, if you will. So this should be interesting. I figured I'd spice it up to make it a little bit fun. Hi, Brandy. Brandy's over here talking French again. Bene is French or Italian? Multi bene. Multi bene. So, yes, I've been wanting to do something like this for a while, and I still have my other altar box that I'm going to work on, probably on another one. So, I got that. I got my awesome, fantastical, loves of my life paint from Deco Art. So you know that definitely some metallics is going to come in here. And I want to make her very, I, like in my mind, she's like this giant of the sea. And when she comes up from under the sea, she picks up everything that's under there. So she's going to have all different kinds of stuff um, coming out of her hair. That's just, you know, how I do things. And this box is a box by, that I got from my new paper trimmer because I got fed up. Yes. I got fed up one day. I was in my room ranting and raving and pacing back and forth because 
I had a situation where I had ordered some blades and the company that I ordered it from a week later tells me, oh, I'm so sorry. I searched my whole stock room and I can't find one. So I was like, oh, right? Obviously, because I need the blades in order to cut the paper, right? I could do it with scissors, but my hands are wonky. Sometimes I laugh and I go to the left and then my paper ends up messed up, right? So um, I needed it. So I went to another place and ordered it. And then these people pretty much almost did the same exact thing to me, except that I told them to cancel the order because I had already ordered the paper trimmer after waiting seven days for them to ship it out. And then they're going to be like, oh, we shipped it out. We shipped it out today. We can't cancel the order. So now, I mean, I have my blades, which, okay, I mean, I can always use them. But now I have an extra paper trimmer, which I'm going to keep them both. I'm not going to do the same mistake twice if give my thing away. Um, I'm going to keep them both because now I know that I can run into this kind of situation. So, plus, you know, hubby's trying to get into crafting. So anytime he's, he takes one, then I still have a backup. <laughs> So how's it looking, you guys? How's it sounding? Oh, my God. I'm so excited. I was so happy when I did the test run because I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to sound crazy. I might sound loud, but I won't sound crazy. No more possession. I have been baptized and cleansed. Italian. Aha. Uh -huh. Mucho bueno. Mucho bono, right? Mucho bono, not bueno. Mucho bono. I only know a little bit of French. I know French fries. I know French people. I know the days of the week. Lundi, Mardi, Mercredi, Jundi. You see? Lundi, Mardi, Mercredi, Jundi, Venedi. And I have no idea what Saturday and Sunday are because there's only five days over there. Hi, Isabel. How are you? So hopefully the stream will go awesome. I am so hoping for that. Um, so I got this paper. This is decoupage paper. And since I'm going to be painting over it, I just want to have, um, I'm not going to use it all up. I'm not going to cover the whole thing. I'm just going to have like little bits and pieces that I'm going to add into it, which I necessarily don't have to do that, but I'm going to probably do it. I'm not even sure. Um, but the goal for today is to craft and rhyme at the same time. Not rhyme about everything I'm crafting about, obviously, because that's just going to be too crazy. <laughs> I'll probably confuse myself and put the eye on her forehead or something. So for the most part, it's just uh, kind of like an improv. I'm going to have you guys like kind of telling me little words here and there, you know. Don't complicate my life, please. <laughs> um, so that we can have some fun, and I'm going to try my best to do some rhyming and... Um, you know, some poetry. Some of it might be deep from my soul. Other things might just come off the top of my head. I don't know. I don't know. This can go either way, you guys. So this should be fun and interesting. So I've already just sold um, at least the first three sides. You know, I didn't do the back because the back I'm just going to cover with paper. So I, and I plus I wanted to show you guys what this box was. So I just did the front and the sides. And, um, I'm going to paint most of this, but before I paint this, I'm going to start drawing her in because I need to know exactly where she's going to go um, and how that's going to go. And then I don't know if I'm going to use this paper or not. Again, I'm kind of debating that. I have a, a glue gun, which I don't have heating up yet because I'm going to add some you know, texture to her hair and stuff like that. And then I'm going to hot glue all the pieces in um, so that I don't have to wait for drying time, number one. Number two, because I'm already going to be adding hot glue for, as part of her texture. I didn't really think it was going to be too bad to kind of like, you know, um, add the hot glue and stuff like that later. So, Janet, come back later. We're going to miss you. So, for the most part, um, I'm going to start drawing her in and um, getting that part of it going so that I can at least know where I'm going to put everything at. And I'm going to use, um, so that I don't already complicate my life too much, I'm going to use an egg, if I can find one, to shape her out, to shape out her face. Because it's a very basic uh, kind of shape if I can find it. Maybe I won't find it. Maybe I will. I don't know. Okay. 
I'm not gonna go too crazy looking for it because an egg is an egg, and I'm not gonna go nuts looking for the egg. But um, we're gonna see where this is gonna go, you guys. Yes. So awesome sauce. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna get this started, and then we'll see what happens. Um, I also picked this up at the thrifty store. I, it's a little weird, but I kind of liked it. I paid two bucks for it, which I know I probably overpaid. But it's like all these little seashells on toothpicks. Um, and then it's like inside of this big rotating kind of seashell. I think the whole thing is made out of seashell, but probably not. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's a seashell or not. It looked like it could have been just handmade to look like a seashell. Um, but I'm not sure. But I thought it was super cool. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to use some of those pieces as well into her hair. I just want to add as much texture to it as humanly possible. Um, and then I'm going to draw her face, and I'm going to paint the whole rest of the box. Um, I'm going to start gluing stuff on, and then I'll paint the rest of it, and then we'll do it like that. Oh, no, Isabel. So let's see. So I definitely want as much as much of this box as I can possibly have to add detail to it. So I'm not going to go too crazy with her face, I don't think. Um, I'm just going to do like a, a basic a basic kind of shape, if you will. And just kind of like an egg. Narrow in the bottom, wider in the top. And I'm not good so much as side profiles, so I'm going to try um, to do like a side profile. So let's see how this works. So pretty much I'm going to divide her right here and maybe not so much to the bottom. For anybody that does like drawing over gesso, it's not the easiest thing to do, but um, I'm going to do her hairline somewhere up here, I guess. So I'm just going to her hairline somewhere up there so that I can start building kind of like from here. She's going to have super, super crazy hair. And I probably should make her face actually a little bit wider um, so that I have a good base to kind of um, do her face in. So how are my wonderful ladies doing today? All right, I think that'll work. Now to try to erase these lines, you guys. <gasps> so I'm going to put her eyes somewhere down here. This line is confusing me. So I can think of her face is like right there. So let me just darken this up. Let me just darken this up so that I have, I know what my dimensions are. Can you guys hear me well? <clears throat> and I guess in a way this is kind of like, I don't want to say she's like inspired by um, like Halloween or anything like that, but it's kind of Halloween-y in a way because of all the things that she's going to have in her hair. She's kind of like this sea monster, but she's beautiful. Um, so I'm just going to, hopefully you guys can see everything that I'm doing. So I know sometimes the lighting is not, uh, it's not the best. Just kind of want to get her eyes in. And I'm not necessarily looking for perfection as usual. You guys know that. Even though I do kind of, you know, fuzz over certain things. <laughs> um, and then her nose is going to be, I'm going to say somewhere around here. And her lips are going to be somewhere around here. Um, to do and I'll be fixing most of this stuff as I kind of go into it if I don't like something I'll move it around or I'll 
change it up. Let's see. Right now she looks a little weird, but we'll see how that kind of pans out. We'll see how she kind of pans out. I'm trying not to give her the, the um, Julia Robert lips like I usually do. More so, I'm just trying to give her like uh, some kind of like this little boxy, boxy kind of, um, I don't know what to call it. You guys know how I am, right? So that's pretty much her right there in a nutshell. It's easier for me to paint and draw when I have things facing me than having them like this because watching the proportion from the side, it's really, really hard um, to kind of guesstimate where your things are. So I'm going to try to see if I can um, <clears throat> rest it on some of these paint bottles that I have back here. And hopefully you guys can still see. Hi, Liz. And it looks like it's more in real time. Um, the lag between the video and what I'm doing is not so big. It's not so long. Um, I'm pretty much right on it, so that's awesome. Let me just fix her nose because I didn't really like that too much. Not fix it as I painted, but anyway. This is just like a rough sketch, so it doesn't necessarily have to be perfect. Um, I just want to make sure that everything is more or less evened out and that the spacing is more or less evened out. So I'm going to cut this kind of like in half and cut this kind of like in half and curve it out some. And just to do. This one is a little bit shorter, or not shorter, but doesn't give me the same amount of space. And I'm just gonna round this out and round this out, right? Something like so. And give me some pupils right here, right? Like so. Round this out a little bit. Got a little too boxy there. And there we kind of go. And that is the beginning of her face, which I will be painting in a little bit later on. And I'm just going to give her her neck. Let's see. I don't want her to have too much of an attitude, but I want her to have some kind of an attitude because remember, she's coming out of the sea, you guys. And she is pissed because you have disturbed her eyelids. She is mad as all heck. Yes. Yay. That's what I wanted. I wanted her to have like this monster-ish kind of um, vibe to her, like, you know, somewhat Halloween-y, um, beautiful, but still somehow creepy. <laughs> kind of like some people, you know, not that you know, but you know, <laughs> So that's kind of what I wanted to do with her. And then I want to fill all of this up with stuff. And then I'm going to have these kind of like these tentacles kind of like sticking up out of places from the top. Like she done took uh, an octopus with her along the way. And I'm not going to group them together. I'm actually going to do them individually. And I'm going to put stuff all over the place. And it's just going to be a fun mess. So I got that. Now for the improv part, you guys. Um, so pretty much, I know I've said this part like four times already. So I know some of you guys are come, kind of coming in. So pretty much as I craft, I want to go like, you know, saying little, little rhymey thingamajigs. So I need you guys to give me like stuff to rhyme with or words or whatever. And I have Sasson already cracking up in the background because he already knows this is going to be a hot mess. Um, Yes, kind of like Medusa, but with tentacles. And she's even going to have a fairy in her hair. Like, she's just taking everything with her. Um, she's done swept up under the sea. 
Uh, so she's gonna have a little bit of everything. So I'm gonna start painting. No, I'm not gonna start painting. I need to my hot glue gun on um, because before I start painting anything, I need to start kind of assembling um, all the pieces and stuff that I'm gonna be using and how I'm gonna be using stuff because I don't really know. You guys know how that goes with me. I want to use some of these, but I don't know if I want to use them as a whole, as I think that that might be a little bit too heavy. Um, so let me try to take some of these apart. Let's start with the tentacles. <laughs> yes, the tentacles definitely have to be one of the first things that I lay on there, only because um, I have to cover them up. I don't want them to show like that they're so separated. I need stuff on there, so I have to see. All right, let me get let me get some tools. The tools that Miss Isabel sent me that have come in handy so so much. Because thanks to these tools, I am able to get into little things. and just do that, do that jazz. So let's see, let's see. Anybody wanna start off? Um, anybody wanna give me a idea, a word, um, or some kind of a phrase that I can kind of interpret in my own little unique way and see what comes out of my mind? <laughs> and that's all it's cracking up in the background, you guys. He said macaroni. <laughs> Stop thinking about food. It's too early in the live to start talking about food. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she said tentacles for the rhyming. Oh, tentacles for the rhyming. Oh, my. All right, let's see. Let's see. Tentacles. It might take me a few minutes, you guys, when my, my, my brain gathers its thoughts. Um, <laughs> Stop laughing. He's cracking up already. <laughs> Okay, let's see, tentacles. Um. <laughs> um, stop, you're distracting me. Um, let's see, let's see. That's a hard one. That's a hard one. Jesus, you guys didn't even let me warm up. You just went straight for the hard stuff, tentacles. <laughs> um, let's see, tentacles, tentacles, tentacles. <laughs> um, Stop. <laughs> He's cracking up, you guys. I can't help it. He's cracking up over here. Um, tentacles. Let's see. How can I associate that? Can somebody give me an assistive word to go with tentacles? And don't say pentacles, okay? Because I don't mean that kind of an assistive word. I mean, like, something that I can make a, a, com a comparison to, and maybe that'll help me flow. Hi, crafty girl. That'll help me kind of get the juices flowing. Let's see. I got my heat gun going too at the same time. Trying to get um that glue nice and hot so that I can stick some of these things on there. And then you guys know how I do. I'm gonna paint the whole thing black. Tentacles. <laughs> no, Liz. No. I cannot use that word. You want me to get banned by YouTube? Girl, you crazy as heck. <laughs> oh my God. That's so funny right there. <laughs> I can't share the word with you guys that, that um Miss Berry Crafty Bonet just gave me. It's not a good word. <laughs> that shelf the juices flow, right? That's what he said. <laughs> um <laughs> Um, let's see. All right, I got this out of out of here. So tentacles. Um uh let's see. All right, I got the first sentence going. If love was like tentacles, I would want to be wrapped up in them all day long. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> She said tentacles wrapped around taking me underground. Oh, Brandy got her poetry going too. I got her flowing. Uh, 
Yes. So if love was like tentacles, I would want to have you. I would want to be wrapped by them all day long. Just don't drown me. Don't pull me under. Keep me warm. <laughs> in the winter. Not in the summer. Because I'm scared of Jaws. The end. What did you guys think? <laughs> Hi, Tanya. We're just having some fun, Tanya. We're over here improving uh, a little bit of flowetry, if you will, with a little bit of humor attached to it, of course, and crafting and creating all at the same time. I'm trying to create um, this altered box and make her into like this sea monster um, from somewhere deep in the ocean coming up to collect everything in her path. <laughs> so, how was that, you guys? Ta-ta, there you go. Where's the, the snaps? <laughs> so, let's see. I need another phrase. Something not so hard, you guys. You're going to make me sweat. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach these tentacles, right? That's the first thing I'm going to do is attach these tentacles onto her. And I'm just going to put them anywhere and everywhere i'm not really caring right now where exactly they fall because at the end of the day i just want to be able to use um i want it to be very dimensional and things kind of coming out of them um and you guys remember when i created this when i did my mermaid live that that was like a, a whole month long series um leave this for her like a little bang I'm gonna put that somewhere there let's see how this kind of goes so I'm going to stick all my pieces down first, and then I'm going to start um, painting everything and I'm trying to see when enough is enough. and where else I can put certain little pieces on. So this whole top part, the whole thing's gonna be her hair. She said love. Oh, love. Sweet, sweet love. That's a good one. Let me just try to see if I can get my, my mental juices flowing um, so that I can add some stuff to that. Um, you know, this was easier when I thought about it yesterday and the day before yesterday. I was here at nighttime rhyming and practicing, and I was like, what kind of words are they going to give me? And I'm just over here thinking about it and thinking about it, and it was so easy. My mind was just flowing. At least I thought I was rhyming. <laughs> I thought I was rhyming, you guys. Um, let's see. Love. Love is a good one. Love is the universal message of healing and understanding. Let's see. I'm still I'm still gathering my thoughts here, you guys. Love is the universal message of healing and understanding. Connection and bonding. Appreciation. All the appreciation. <laughs> that is what love brings. Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see. This is hard, you guys. I thought it was going to be easy. That's why I said it. I was like, this is going to be a breeze. Maybe you have to put your video quality down, Jackie. Maybe your video quality is too high. Try putting it down to um, go into the YouTube video and hit the little gear or the settings in the, in, the, in the player and try bringing the quality down. That sometimes helps. Because I know I'm streaming at like 720 or something like that. I don't even know. But I know it's somewhere around there, around that 720 figure. 
Um, let's see. He loves me, he loves me not. At least that's what the wind told. He wrote, he wrote it down. He wrote it down. Felt like a clown. At least that's what I saw. <laughs> Let's see. Um, a fox? A <laughs> thought. Um, let's see. I don't know. I just keep getting bits and pieces. This is not easy, you guys. I'm about to rechange the title here to something else. Um, let's see. The word was love. Look at Liz, another one. She said, together in love forever, blessed from above. Like a twinkling in the sky, while I look into your eyes, forever our love shall grow. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> I did it, I did it. All right, that was good, that was good. All right, I need another one. <laughs> I must sound like a kindergarten, a kindergartner when they get their name called for lunch. <laughs> Let's see, let's see. We need more, you guys, we need more. That was good, that was good. You see how you gave me a phrase? Yeah, I think that that will help me out a lot better. I need a phrase, you guys. I need something that I can rhyme off of that'll get the, the rest of the flow going. I know, I must sound like a crazy person to you guys right about now, like this girl is nuts. What the heck was in her cereal bowl this morning? What was in Carmen's lunch? <laughs> I'm just adding a whole bunch of different stuff to this, you guys, um, and just kind of um, seeing where it all goes. I just took out a whole bunch of little pieces here and there um, to kind of give it texture and um, height and dimension. And I just want her to look crazy, but I want her to look beautiful. <laughs> Liz says, he loves me, he loves me not. If he doesn't, I'll punch him and make him cry. It would have been better. He loves me, he loves me not. But if he don't, I'll punch him in the gut. Bye, Jackie. Come on, you guys. Give me another phrase. Let me get some of these. My little piece is out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta get some of I'm gonna be painting over all of these, you guys, so don't get mad at me. But I have to. She's gonna have a whole bunch of different stuff kind of happening. These are not where I'm gonna place them. I'm just pulling them out for now. I'm just gonna pull out a whole bunch of them and just um, see where it all kind of goes. I have some little rose trims that I made with a new mold that I received. <laughs> so let's see, you guys, let's see. Let's get our freestyle on. What, what? Berry, berry, cry contrary. <laughs> Had a dog, she likes a berry. <laughs> then one that then one day the cat came in. Let's see. I know, I know you said enough is enough, Carmen. I'm not putting it all in here. I'm just taking stuff out so that I know where I'm gonna put stuff at. Listen, like you're going to put all of that in there? No, I'm not. I'm not. But I am going to fit her in there as well. I'm going to put this little fairy in there. This is my new mold, you guys. Isn't she cute? I'm just going to put pieces that I, um, I don't know yet. I'm just going to add stuff to it. 
I'm gonna add this little uh, little anchor, the little wannabe anchor, because it never got hard. This is that Crayola stuff, so I might as well get rid of it. It never got hard for me, you guys. It never got hard. All right, Jackie. All right, so let's see. Let's see, you guys. Let's see. Okay. Let's see if I can do this. Once upon a time, there lived a man from Londonstein who liked to land on all the steins. <laughs> The only problem, London Stein, is that he didn't understand London Stein. <laughs> well, I'm going to give her wings, you guys. She's going to have teeny little wings, and that's why she got up there so high. She's going to have teeny little wings. I'm going to put these little wings on her right there. Right around her neck. Right around her neck, she's going to have these little, these little fairy wings. Where's the other one? Uh, doo -doo -doo. I put the wrong color. I should have put the wrong color. Someone will be painting over it anyway. She's going to have these little wings on her neck. Um, dun -dun -dun. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Well, actually, I've made these. Now I'm going to break these in half. Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm breaking that in half. And I'm just going to put them right on the edge over here. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Where's the other piece? Put that right there. Right around the rim of her forehead. And I probably should have painted her first. So if I have a problem later, now you know why. Because I should have probably painted her first. Yeah, she's gonna go in there somewhere. I just don't know where. I just don't know where. Let's see what I have here. Let's see, let's see. Little roses. They broke off my little chain link. I think you should just run using the craft stuff in your, in your face. Ooh, that's a good idea. Roses, hoses that don't smell like Moses <laughs> who parted the Red Sea. Just like my sea queen here. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> there you go. Ta da! My sea queen. My sea queen is so fierce, or how she makes the ocean roar. From underneath, she <laughs> he's over here growling, you guys, in the background. Um, from underneath, she sinks the ships and then throws them offshore. No, puts them on shore or pushes them on shore. Something like that, right? Something like that. Something like that, you guys. Something like that. Uh, let's see. Just trying to fit pieces to a puzzle here, you guys. Pieces to a puzzle. Um, <laughs> this is so hot, you guys. So hot. Oh my god, he's so hot. He's over here not helping. Help me. Help me. Or I shall ban you from my craft supplies. Oh, I burn myself. Oh, oh, I burn myself. My finger. <laughs> oh, I burn myself for real, you guys. He sent me evil thoughts. Evil thoughts. Evil thoughts. Go back to where you came from. Evil thoughts. <laughs> Some boom pow. 
how you like me now? Pan it, pan it, pan it, pan it. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. I need a beat. I need a beat, you guys. I need a beat. I need a beat, you guys. Boom, 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 Keep it going. <laughs> ah, crack my flower. My flower's broken. So is my heart. From where I stand, I just see dark. <laughs> Do you like that? Do you like that? Oh, Lord, have mercy. My queen, my queen. I need more glue. What happened to you? Did the glue go to the east? Or did it go to the west? Let's see. Yeah, you guys, this is a lot harder than I thought. And next time I'm going to write stuff down, I'm just going to read it to you guys. I think that that'll probably be better. Because this improv is not easy. Kudos to those that do it. Because coming up and just making up stuff on the fly, it is hard work. It is hard work, you guys. Oh, look at Liz. It got her mind flowing like pieces to a puzzle. Life is a daily struggle. Pieces to a puzzle for the sea queen. When you see her, you will, she will make you scream. That fairy is the magical kind to help the wandering minds. The fairy she holds, no one knows. Oh, suki suki. You guys should have done this. He's doing good, you guys. You're doing good. Oh, Lord, Lord. Let's see. I know whoever sees this video later is going to be like, this woman is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I am absolutely insane. <laughs> you have such a cough or oh, a tough crowd. Yes, I do. <laughs> Let's see. I'm just sticking stuff and sticking stuff and sticking stuff. And stuff that sticks will stick to the stuff and stuff and just stuff, stuff and more stuff. This was not easy, and I should have planned it out better. But that's what I get for getting ahead of myself, as the usual. Sanson and crafts. That's my prompt. Sanson and crafts. Oh, you make me laugh. But I'm still waiting for your cards to get together. Sasson and crafts. What a day we had. While we work on crafts together. Forever and ever. Sasson is my flavor. Because I'm Dominican and I can't help it. Yay, yay. <laughs> I'm doing good. <laughs> oh no, I'm failing miserably, but it's okay. It's all in good fun at the end of the day. So I'm I'm all right with it. I'm okay with it, you guys. It's all in good fun. It's all in good fun. Um dun, dun, dun. I just want her to have super duper texture because I'm going to paint all of this black and then I'm going to obviously go over with some, you know, patina colors and just different things to kind of make it look like um, she's just been collecting stuff all over the, you know, all under the sea, if you will. So I'm just trying to add um, different little things here and there. And I got to see how I add this chain. I'm going to break it. Okay. I can break it. Alrighty, so this is a very well-made chain because I can't break it. Maybe I could cut it. 
I tried cutting a wire the other day. The thing actually broke my bolt cutters. I was so mad. Oh, dang. This is a good chain. I'm probably not going to use it because I can't cut it. Alrighty. So I'm probably not going to end up using the chain because I can't cut it. Let me get another chain. Something that I actually can manipulate. Because that one's not working so well for me. Maybe I can use some of these. And let's see if I can get another one. Some of that. Some of this and some of that, y'all. Adobo. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just have to say adobo. Entre más le echo, más como. Adobo criollo. Para hacer todos los pollos. <laughs> y ponerle un chin al arroz. I eat it on Monday. I push it on Saturday. Because that's how adobo goes. Ah, you like that, right? Snap, 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 snap. <laughs> My husband is cracking up over here. Let's see, let's see. Where can I add this rose? This rose, I'm gonna add her right down there. I'm gonna add this rose right down there. Let's see, let's see. I need her to have like this craziness happening because her, her life is wild. She's reckless, she's a loose. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this, but we are gonna try. The thing I did in this sounds no more harmonious. <laughs> oh, I got, I got it, Liz. I got it late, but I got it. I got it. I got it. Liz is just as crazy as the rest of us. Don't let her fool you. She's just as nuts as the rest of us. It's just with her, it's a little harder to figure it out. But she's just as crazy. She is just as crazy. This fits here? No. Let's see. Ow, ow, ow. I'm putting so much pressure on these things, I'm actually cracking them, breaking them some little. No, Liz, I'm saying you crazy, girl. I'm saying you crazy, because you are crazy. You are crazy, just like the rest of us, crazy. Don't let it fool you, she is crazy. Just like the rest of us, she is crazy. Don't let it fool you. Don't let it fool you. Don't let it fool you. She is crazy. Dun, dun, dun. Boom chicka boom chicka boom. Boom chicka boom chicka boom. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. I know that probably music doesn't sound too kosher. But it's okay. It's okay, you guys. It's okay. You gotta live in love. You gotta live in love. Let's see. Oh no. Uh oh. Brandy's a mommy duty. I hope he feels better soon. It's uncomfortable for us to watch him, but it's definitely uncomfortable for them to go through it.
Yep, she is crazy. All right, let's see what else I can add in here. Let's glue this little thing down here. I think this is gonna look really, really crazy, but hopefully amazing. Hopefully, because if I mess up her face, it's a wrap. I'm gonna have to start all over again with her face, but hopefully I won't have to. But it won't be hard to do, I just gesso it. <laughs> yes. I don't want to cover stuff up. So I am trying not to cover stuff up. So we'll see what happens here because I think I'm running out of things to add. So I think I'm just going to start actually um, just adding little things to her hair, little dots here and there and And just seeing what happens. Thank God this glue kind of levels off on its own. So it won't be too um, crazy looking, hopefully. But you never know. I just like the texture. So all these things that I do is just to give it that height, that dimension, that texture. The magic happens once you start painting and you start adding um, all the different, you know, colors and paints and just all the different things. I'm going to need way more glue than this. I'm going to need way more glue than this. This is an awesome way for you guys to add texture to your pieces as well. It's just by add, use grabbing a glue gun if you have the glue to spare it, you know. I don't have the glue to spare it, but I'm about to make a trip to Dollar Tree, so I shall work it out. And just adding all this different texture. Go ahead and flip this over. Ah! Stuck my hand in it, but it's okay. Ow, I burned myself. Tootie fruity, feeling moody. Back in school, I had a booty. Bum, 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 bum. But now that I am older, gravity has gotten a hold of the tutti fruity booty. Do, 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 do. And it is no longer as tutti and or as fruity. Even though it's still holding strong. The end. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Let's see. I'm adding all of these different things, but I'm still trying not to go over the actual pieces themselves. I'm going to let some of these layers dry, and I'm going to go back into it with another layer um, just to continue to add more, just more stuff. I need her to have a nice big dot right there. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. <laughs> I 
it's a lot more prep work than it is anything else because once um once you start painting it the rest of it goes kind of easy to be honest with you because most of the stuff is gonna go black and then i'm just gonna highlight it with different um inks i mean different metallics um so that'll take care of most of the bulk of that um the hardest part is gonna be when i start working on her face to be honest with you that i feel is gonna be where i'm gonna be the most challenged um to kind of finish it all off i think there's something in this box Okay, that's looking a little interesting, I think. Let's see. Because Carmen has hit the concentration zone. Can't touch this. Din -din -din -din. Din -din -din -din. Can't touch this. Yes. I remember that. And more than that, I remember those freaking pants. <laughs> those MC Hammer pants that everybody started worrying and I was like, why? What are you doing to fashion? No. And things were so wide you could use them for laundry bags. You could put the whites on one side and the colors on the other. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh, Liz. Uh oh. Um, let's see. Let's add some more little buttons here and just different stuff. Oh, that's right. I wanted to add these things. I almost forgot. These are small enough that I can add them in between. These little seashells by the seashore. I'm definitely gonna remove the poetry improv from the title of this video once this video was done because I didn't do much poetry improving. It did not go as smooth as I had envisioned it. See how we can be delusional? See how we can be delusional, you guys? I thought it was gonna go so much better than it actually did. I'm better at art, I think. <laughs> No, you didn't. Liz, you funny as all heck. Miss Berry Crafty Bonet says, selling seashells by the seashore while I ride around town in my seahorse. I put my thing down, flipped it, and reversed it. Let's see. So I'm just taking these little seashells everywhere because I think this is going to be the last of the adornments um, that I'm going to stick on her. I'm probably going to add some of these gears. I would have loved to have put like a piece of a boat or something on there to make it look like she picked up some wreckage from under the ground, but that won't be possible today. I'm running out of gears. I got to get more.
dang on dang a dang a dang a dang. Now you got that song in my head, girl. She got that song in my head. Uh, <laughs> yes, darling. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Because I didn't know that they had roses in the ocean, but this sea goddess picked up roses in the ocean. So I don't know if she just came from a date and she was just mad. And she just said, to heck with it. <laughs> Let me come up. And tear some stuff up. But she did something like that. She did something like that, you guys. And I might add a few more once I, um, Once I finish, you know, the whole thing, I might add a little bit more of these little seashells. I might just paint them in gold and add them like a doorman or something. So I'm not going to use the whole container that I have here, but I'm going to add a little bit more and um, see how it all kind of goes. And I'm going to start painting so that um, we have enough time to get it all done today. Da -da -da -da. Let's see. Let's see. Where can I add this? right here. I just don't want to leave too many negative spaces, you know? <laughs> She's trying to help me. She is helping me. She's helping me, you guys. She's helping me. I'm just snapping these off so that I can um, add them in different places. These are all freshly cooked today. All these little um, roses and the fairy was just cooked today. I did the boiler method. Where can I add you, little flower? Where can I add you? Oh, I have to add you up here somewhere. <laughs> But this should come up pretty interesting looking, I'm going to assume. And I shouldn't have put these things pointing up because I'm going to end up stabbing myself if I know me. So let me just put them tucked in there, actually, as opposed to ugh, having them poked up. Because that's a little dangerous. And above all things, we must be safe, you guys. So I'm going to put those pointing down. I'm just going to stick them wherever they can fit. And um, I think I think she has a lot of stuff. What do you guys think? She's even got wings, this little thing over here. She's even got wings. I got one more. I'm going to glue this, and I think I'm going to start um, painting her up. I'm going to start painting her up, you guys. She's a barnacle head. <laughs> We're all mad here. <laughs> all right, you guys. So I think that's pretty good as far as me adding stuff to it. So I'm going to start painting this thing black. I'm going to start painting this thing black. And um, where is my black? Right here. And I'm not going to worry too much about anything. I'm just going to have fun and go free or go home, even though I am home already. And I got one that's poking out, but that thing is sharp. Hopefully it won't be too, too bad, and I'll be able to kind of do what I got to do with it. And I'm not going to paint the face black. I'm going to paint everything else but the face and the body. Um, that's kind of how I'm going to do this. And I'm just going to put the paint right over it because there's no take-backsies in my world. 
this is gonna go on and it is what it is Hopefully, once I start painting everything, um, once I start adding the, the metallic colors to it, and this, by the way, is Deco Art. All the paints that I'm using are Deco Arts. Um, they're either dazzling metallics or they're acrylics. So I'm just gonna go crazy. And this is what I like about painting these things black. It's very forgiving. You don't have to stress yourself out about what's on the background, composition-wise, so on and so forth. Um, you can paint everything black and just accentuate a few elements, and you are pretty much good to go. I don't know how many coats this is going to need, so we'll see. We'll see how it all goes and how it turns out. So how's the stream holding up, you guys? Is it a lot better than it used to be? And I loved how I painted these octopus arms when I first did them, but it's okay. I don't feel too bad about painting over them because that's what it's for. It's just about having fun. and feeling free and honestly speaking this is one of the most relaxing things that i can do is just grab a piece of cardboard grab some things that i have broken or loose um, or i don't need or i got off of packaging or whatever the case may be um and glue them down and then just paint everything over and just start adding texture you know by adding all these different elements it is honestly so freeing I cannot describe it to you. It's something that you will definitely have to try for yourself so you can see what I'm talking about. <laughs> Liz, you're hilarious. You should have been doing this. You are good for that. You're good for the improv, girl. Your mind flows way better. Better, better, no matter the weather. However the wind shall flow. I paint it all black because painting is not whack. And that's how creativity flows. What? Kudos, kudos, kudos. This does not go how I thought it was gonna go, you guys. <laughs> I can honestly say that. This does not go how I thought it was gonna go. Everything black, everything. And I'm gonna waste a lot of black doing this, but it is well worth it. The result is well worth it. I just want to make sure that I don't get black on her. That's my main concern is not getting black on her because that's a little harder to take off. I mean, it won't be a big deal because if I have to alter, you know, how she's going to look, then I'll just do it. But this is a very long piece, you guys. And I know some of the, these are probably going to start dis disappearing on you for right now. As I'm painting everything black, you're probably wondering. If you didn't see what I did before on my other one, then you're probably wondering why is she painting everything black? Um, well, once I get everything painted and um, I start sponging on different colors and adding different colors in different places, then you'll start seeing shades and you'll start seeing shadows and you'll start seeing all different kinds of details from all the elements that I put on kind of coming back to life and reemerging from the background, if you will. So this is just my way of um, pretty much kind of creating a blank slate where I can start controlling where the shadows are um, and where everything kind of starts coming back to life. 
And this is one of my most favorite things in the world to do. There are these kinds of pieces. Because this is truly something that you're creating from scratch. This is not in no way near, shape, or form you copying something from somebody else. When you're deciding where each piece goes, when you're deciding where everything goes, I mean, I guess you can kind of copy what other people do if you wish. Um, but this is like one of the most freeing things for me, just because I have total control of everything. I mean, granted, when you're creating, you have sort of control of what you're doing, obviously. Um, but what I mean is just creativity-wise, things just start kind of coming up out of nowhere, and they start kind of controlling how uh, your piece starts to look, but in a good way. Everything starts kind of coming together, and it's just amazing to see the transformation. <laughs> Feed me to the fish. <laughs> no, we can't do that because then we're going to miss you. And I don't want to miss you. And actually what I'm going to do, because there's some places I can't get into, I'm going to grab my, my black spray from their media line, from Zeko Arts media line, and I'm just going to start spraying um just some of some of the area here hopefully i find it quick found it quick isn't that a good thing so let's just because if you can see there's a lot of white spaces this will kind of help me to really get everything nice and dark. And in a quick hurry, I should have done that from the get-go. <laughs> let me just um, spray this right here. Spray this one. These things work better when you have them upright. The minute you start trying to um, lay the bottle kind of flat in order to use it, it starts to feel like it's clogging on you. And then I have to go dry this up, you guys. So you will have a few seconds for potty break and drinks or dessert, whatever you want to do. Just kind of making sure that it goes into all the little nooks and crannies. This is going to look sick, you guys. I love things like this. I have people come to my house and they're like, where did you get that? I'm like, huh, I made it. <laughs> I made that. Yup, I sure did. People come to my house all the time and try to take my stuff. Some people I let. Not everybody. At once when I was like, right when I was like at the beginning stages, I did this, um, I did this portrait for my brother. And it was humongous. I shouldn't have took us at the thing, but that poor thing ended up looking like um, Bruce Jenner when she turned into something else. It looked so much like Bruce Jenner that after I realized that it looked like Bruce Jenner, I was like, damn it, why did I let him take that? Everybody's gonna be like, my sister did that. They're gonna all think of Bruce the minute that they see it. I was so not happy. <laughs> I was like, no. I was so mad. I was like, dang it, why didn't I look at it better? <laughs> okay. Oh, I like that. I like that, this. I like that. 
She said elemental design starts with zero designs, starts painting lines and creates air and creates art in no time. Oh, sicky sicky. You guys, you get some snaps for that. You get some snaps for that. <laughs> me likey, me likey. It is awesome to have friends like you, darling. She is going to look crazy, you guys. Oh, my God. I'm already, like, envisioning all of these things. And when it starts to pop out and I'm just like, oh, my heart is, like, literally beating at 100 miles an hour right now. Because I just know that this is going to look amazing. This is going to be one of those things that I'm going to love. I just have to be careful how I do her face because I still do struggle with making faces, you guys, especially painting them with acrylic. It is not my forte. And um, this is why I try to do it as often as I do because it's definitely one of those things that I have to get better at doing. Because shading, a little bit of shading goes a long way. Like, it just looks like one whole piece now. Can you guys see that? Yes, right? I love it. That's exactly what I wanted her to look like, um, Liz. I wanted her to look like Frankenstein's um, other half. I actually kind of said that at the beginning. I was like, I want her to look kind of Frankenstein-ish because, um, you know, it's Halloween month. You know, we're in October. So in the spirit of Halloween, I wanted to create a monster. And I just think um, she looks amazing. Drawing them is not so hard for me, I think. I think where I run into issues every time literally is in the painting. Um, painting them in is my biggest problem. Painting them in is my biggest problem, you guys. That is where I run in the most headaches is when I actually start to paint them. If her face ends up black, I'm not going to go crazy about it, you guys. It ends up black, it ends up black. I'll just paint over it. I'm not going to stress it. This part of it is too important right now. As all her hair and everything is really the focal point here for everything. I do not want her face to go dark, but if it does, I'll just repaint it. So I'm not going to stress it. Because I think a little bit of darkness in certain areas will probably help out the painting overall. So I'm not going to go too, you know, too crazy with it. She's got a mullet. <laughs> She's got more than a mullet, girl. She's got the whole world on her head. She's got the whole wide world on her head. Once I'm done painting this, I'm going to dry her off real quick so that I can start going into her with um, with the other stuff. And once I'm done with all of the metallics, then I'll go in on her face, you guys. Then I'll go in on her face and get that um, whole thing kind of going. I just love these sprays by Deco Art. They dry super fast. And they just go everywhere. Like they literally go into every little nook and cranny. Super fun to work with. And I gotta take a hundred pictures so that I can send it to them. I love this. I love these. And it's got so much weight to it already. 
I should have done this on a canvas, but I had this box and I, I saw it so long and I'm like, oh, that would be perfect to do one of these really long um, pieces, you know, that I do all the time. One of these pieces on such a, you know, on a nice long canvas is what I meant to say. Because usually I have a limited space on what I can, um, you know, what I can add and how I can do what I got to do. But with something this long, I just had to. I was two seconds away from throwing it out, and I was like, no, Carmen, recycle. Recycle this. You have to recycle this. This is going to look amazing. I didn't even steal off the bottom yet. I'll steal off the bottom probably at a later time. I'm just going to paint the rest of this black and um, get, get to the drying stage. Janet is back. Look, Janet. Look what I did. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see other dimensions? I just love this kind of stuff, you guys. I love it. And I wish that this would, just, would be big enough that I can probably give it away and ship it out to somebody, but there's no way. There's no way to ship something like this out. It's just too big. Long wise, it won't even fit in a flat rate box, I don't think. Like, I will literally have to customize some kind of packaging for it, which would probably cost me a little bit, a little bit, you know? So, but who knows? Maybe one day I get froggy and it just might end up in somebody's house because that's just how I am. I'll be like, I'm not going to give it away. Then the next thing you know, somebody gets a huge surprise. And they're like, there it is. <laughs> Just for you. She said, Just wrap it in round bag. All the things will break off, Janet. They will all break off. She's got tentacles coming out of the sides. Everything will break off. And actually, I need to, um, I'm probably going to have to add some stuff to this because some of, like, this little area right here, something is sticking up from under it. So, but maybe once I dry it, I can stick something like this and cover, paint that in black. So I'm going to probably spray that out just so that I can add it in later. Um, cover that little edge up right there. But I love it. So hopefully you guys will still be here when I come back. I'm going to go and um, get this thing dry, which it doesn't take me too long because I'm not drying gesso. Every up and get to where you got to go. I'm not drying gesso. I'm just drying paint and spray. So it, it'll dry fast. Um, and everything else in it is already good to go. Plus, it'll help the glue to kind of sink in just a little bit more. Um, and that way the pieces will hopefully be good to go. Yay, I am loving this. I hope that I do her justice. I hope she comes out just as beautiful as the rest of this because if she does, <gasps> OMG. And I have, uh, where is it? I have this little diamond button here that I'm going to, don't want that black, that I'm going to stick somewhere in there or somewhere anyway. Oh, it's okay, Janet. No te preocupes, mija. You're good to go. Okay. Did you finish recording already? I'm just making sure that everything is everything before I go into this dry because I don't want to have to paint it over, which I don't think I will have to. Um, so I'm just making sure that everything that needs to be black is black before I go um, and dry it off. It's already almost dry, you guys. A lot of the pieces um starting to dry already. But I'm loving this, you guys. Oh, my God. The pictures are going to look so cool. I cannot wait to add my pictures up.
take pictures of this thing. <sighs> Love it. Awesome. We have a winner. All right, so go get your coffee. If you gotta go party, go party. Give me like three minutes. Let me dry this up. I'll be right back, you guys. Um, it won't take me that long at all. So let me just go dry so that I can start doing the other layers of paint um, and finish her face up. Because I'm going to have to fix this face up. Really, I am. <laughs> I'll be right back. Don't miss me too long. <laughs> I'm about to see if that song will come over here and keep you guys company while I drive this.
am back, you guys. I am back. Hopefully that wasn't too long. Jan Janet, where did you go? Janet, where did you go, Janet? All right, you guys. So I did that, the painting. Let me just show you so you can see all the elements on it. Where did everybody go? So I got all the little details there. Now what I'm gonna do, so the first thing I'm gonna do is actually rinse off my black brush here. I have all this black paint on. And I have to turn my glue gun on. Cause I wanna cover this right here, so I'm gonna turn that on. I'm gonna paint this real quick so that that is drying. I'm gonna spray it actually. I think that'll dry probably faster. Just gonna paint that on uh, all the sides. I'm gonna put this off to the side so that it can kind of dry while I am. That's gonna be the last little thing that I add to here. Now I'm gonna rinse off my brush, make it my baby wipe so that I can rinse that off. Yay, Isabel, you're here. Thank you. Hopefully you're liking what you see so far. All right, let me put this paper to the side. And now I'm going to grab um, some other colors. I'm gonna get some copper. And my little palette here is a little dirty, but it's okay. I'm gonna grab some copper. And this is, yeah, copper. I'm also gonna add some festive green. Just a little bit. I'm gonna get some teal. Because now so I'm going to start adding all her colors back in. But I'll have the darkness behind it um, so it could create some contrast. This is going to be for her face. This is gold. Where it is? I have a color that is called Patina. Let me see if I find it. Let's see if I find the Patina color. Oops. It dropped. Mm. Awesome. Crystal green. Crystal green. All right. I guess I thought I had patina. Oh, I think I have it, but I have it in this. I have it in my little um wax. So let me get that. Dropping everything. I need better organization. Where's my potato? Oh, so I guess I don't have potato. Okay, I have it in here somewhere. I just don't know where it is. It's probably one of my cases, but I can't find it. So I'm just gonna start going at it. Um, let me get my sponge. I think the sponge is probably 
a little bit better for getting into some of the faces. Once I'm done with this, then I'll go into painting her face. So I'm just going to start picking up a little bit of paint here and there. And some of this is still wet, so, but it's okay. I'm not going to try to cover all the black because I do want some of this black to kind of show. Um, but I do want to have like this almost sea color, um, like metals and stuff that have been underwater for a long time. So I'm going to try to make this somehow into that. So I'm just going to add some of these colors kind of everywhere in random order. I'm not really looking for something that's very specific or I'm not trying to get into too detailed of an area. Um, I'm just adding the colors in random, letting them marry if they're going to marry. And by marry, I mean blend. Um, if they're going to blend, that's fine with me. And these octopus legs, I made them with cold porcelain, but the other pieces that I added on here were made with polymer clay, um, and I pretty much boiled them as opposed to baking them. I want her to look like a bronze kind of statue. And I think the makeup sponge is probably the best way for me to get her to look um, like she's been underwater submerged for a long time. So you guys can kind of see how this is kind of going. Now, I don't want to be too um, push too much on some of these pieces because, you know, it's just clay pieces. They're not like resin where they won't break. Um, clay pieces will break on you if you don't, if you put too much pressure. This teal. This teal is a beautiful color. And this is going to give my piece so much color and vibrancy and just overall elegance. And I like it. Thank you. Smell good. And I'm just gonna add some of this coming down. I want some of this blue kind of coming down because she is kind of popping up out of the ocean. Um, so I'm gonna have some of this blue kind of coming down on her sides. Some of this green. I need more. <laughs> I have no idea, Isabel. Everybody left. Everybody left the room. So I don't know what happened. Yeah, but nobody's um, commenting. It's okay, though. People got things to do, you know? They got kids. They got husbands and stuff.
I love how this is looking. Oh my God. Love it. Love it, love it. And what I'm going to do is after I'm done, I'm actually going to download this video and I'm going to re-put it back up, but I'm going to take out all the talking and I'm going to shorten it up and speed up the process because I know it's hard for people to come back and watch a three hour long video. So I think I'm going to start doing that from now on with my, um, with the videos that I put up, I'm going to start, um, kind of taking them down and re-uploading them, but in shorter, in a shorter, in a shorter way. Thank you, darling. Thank you, thank you. And thank you so much for sticking around. I appreciate your company. <laughs> So just a lot of makeup, you know, with a little makeup sponge, just smudging it in there, just getting all these different colors in. Let me get some gold. I think we're missing some gold in here. Love gold. <laughs> Sasson says he loves gold too. <laughs> um, so just getting, I'm gonna get some gold and that's glorious gold, no, splendid. Splendid gold, glorious gold, I think, is their uh, metallic wax. Let me just do this the sides, put some of this on the sides as well. Some of this blue. Just kind of add it to the sides as well. And she is my sea goddess monster. And she has everything in her hair that you can possibly dream of. And all the little glue drops that I added, they all leveled off. So now they just look like other little pearls and stuff that have been hidden in there. And I just absolutely love how this is coming out. And hopefully you can see all the beautiful different colors and just how everything is kind of coming together. I'm gonna grab the brush now um, and add a little bit more, um, go a little bit deeper just with some of the colors to kind of go around certain areas. And again, some of this paint is still kind of wet, so it's mixing in a little bit with, um, with the black, but that's okay. This is a little bit wobbly, so I'm gonna have to wait for that to dry. Once it dries, it'll be fine because the paint will also help it to kind of um, get stuck in there. And just kind of um, adding just different different colors here and there, letting them all kind of um, blend how they're gonna blend and highlight how they're gonna highlight. Okay. 
this for me more than anything is therapy getting to do it with you guys is definitely a bonus but more than anything this is a lot of therapy for me i just love doing this kind of stuff thank you darling how are you We've added everything under the sun into this, and I'm going to be painting her face soon. So right now I'm just adding, continuing to add some layers. I'm using Deco Arts um, Metallic Luster, not Metallic Luster, Dazzling Metallics, which is their line of metallic paints. And just continuing to add more and add more. At some levels dry. Um, just getting that, that blend between colors and also just different areas, different shadings. Um, you know, I made her hair out of uh, hot glue. So now I'm just kind of trying to accentuate her hair with some of this teal. Make her look like the sea goddess that she is. And then I have to go for her face, which I'll have to um, kind of redraw again, but it's okay. Thank you, thank you, darling. It's the kind of stuff we do here on Let's Create Live on Saturdays. I'm always looking for things to alter and just things to kind of do. All of the pieces here were handmade by me with the exception of some of the pearls and some of the chain that I added in here. But all the other pieces were um, for molds and just um, different things that I create and I put to the side. Let me get some more green. And this is from a uh, Fiskars box, you guys. This is what I did with the Fiskars box. Hello, darling, how are you? So just adding, you know, little touches here and there, different colors. Everything was originally painted black. And now I'm just um, going in with just different metallic paints to kind of accentuate um, some of the things that I've added on here. And then I will be painting her face in. So hopefully I'll be doing a good job. That's really where I'm worried. Um, I'm worried about how her face is going to come out. That is my biggest pet peeve, my biggest struggle is painting them in. I draw them in a lot easier than I can paint them in. Even this little fairy here is from a mold that I that I made. I cooked it up earlier today because I boil my molds. Um, I boil my pieces as opposed to baking them. So I think we're almost done here. I've been having my glue gun kind of... Um, Thank you. Oh, Isabel says hi. Oh, you said hi. You jumped in. <laughs> finally. <laughs> he finally jumped in. So now I'm just trying to um, add. And you, anybody can make this, you guys. This is just a bunch of randomness glued together. That's all this is. It's a, back, a bunch of randomness that I hot glued down into a box. I made these mer um, these octopus legs a while back when I was doing a, a mermaid series. Some of you guys might have caught that. I made these from cold porcelain that I handmade as well. Anybody can do this. 
even if you don't know how to draw, you can just create something like this. You don't even have to draw on it. Just create a box and put all different kinds of things on it. And then just paint different layers, you know, add different different shades of paint. And you'll be good to go in no time. I feel like I need to add some blue in here. So I'm going to add a little bit more teal and then that's about it. I have to paint the other side of the box. So let me just do that real quick. Let me just paint the other side of the box. But look. So many dimensions. Her hair was completely done with the glue gun. So nothing fancy there. I'm just going to paint now the sides of um, the box. The back of the box, I'm going to just cover with paper. So I'm not going to worry too much about the box, the back of the box. I didn't add any pieces on the sides, but I did, um, script, you know, drizzle some glue here and there. Um, just so that I have some kind of, you know, a little bit of texture grabbing on to just different things here and there. And I'm just going to reuse the remainder of my paint to paint this box around, you know, paint all the edges and stuff. It's a very long box. It says it's about 17 inches long. So it's a very long box. Um, and I just pretty much left it as it is, even with the little, um, the little hook that it has, so you can hook it onto the wall, you know, when they put it on the shelf and stuff. I even left it with that. I didn't take that off because I'm going to use that same exact thing to hook it to my wall. And the beautiful thing about these metallic paints is that they blend so well with each other. And if you let it dry just a little bit, um, you know, before you add the next layer, then you're pretty much good to go and I love green <laughs> so I'm going to be adding a lot of green in here just because I love the color green green to me just represents vitality and it represents growth and um, regrowth you know life itself giving life giving force so I love using green in my projects but not any old green you guys don't send me Happy Meal with lime green. <laughs> I like green, but not lime green. Maybe in small doses, but nothing, nothing too major. But yeah, nothing, nothing fancy here, you guys. Just a little bit of paint and a lot of stuff. And a glue gun. I try to be, because it takes the fun out of it when you're so methodical about everything. So I just go for it. I just... Go for it. That's it. And that's what I encourage you all to do is just kind of go for it. Um, there's no such thing as perfection. There is no such thing as perfection. And you just have to kind of tell yourself that, um, that you are good enough and you are good to go. You are good to go. I missed this little piece right here. So I'm going to add that little piece there. And even though this piece is still a little wet, I'm still going to add it because I'm going to go right now and heat set it um, with my glue, with my heat tool. I can't do it from the room, you guys. So hopefully you guys will still be here when I come back. The first time that I did that, everybody left. <laughs> um, but hopefully you guys will still be here when I come back. Chick chat amongst yourselves. It'll take me about a minute or two just to quickly heat blast this real quick so that I can continue on with her face. Um, and I absolutely love this. I absolutely love this. I'm actually going to give it a few seconds just for that, that glue to kind of dry a little bit so that I can add a little bit of metallic paint on that um, little bezel there. Um, I'm going to actually add that little rose to it as well just so that I have something in that center. Once I heat blast it, it'll be fine. Um, but yes. I am loving how this is coming. And actually, since I'm here right now and I'm going to heat set this, what I'm going to do really, really quickly is um, to start kind of layering, adding some paint on here real quick to just start kind of um, getting that face together because I went a little happy-go-lucky with the spray. And so I kind of put spray all over her face, which is fine. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Um, I just want to get some color on her real quick. and kind of start uh, setting that mood for 
for what I'm going to be painting, you know, all the details in her face. So I'm not going to be able to cover all of these little blemishes off, but I am going to at least be able to um, cover some of them, which I'm okay with. I'm okay with some of the paint that I have under there kind of showing because it is what it is. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Sometimes accidents turn into happy accidents and you have to be okay with that. Can beat yourself about every little detail, you know? I'm going to let her face kind of be a little bit on the grayer side. I'm okay with that because she is a sea monster and I doubt that she has human skin tones. I am going to brighten her up. Hi, Michelle. I am going to brighten her up, but I'm not going to worry about that. And as far as the details that I lose in her face from adding this paint, I will just paint them back in. So I'm not going to worry about that either. I'm just going to start setting my stage for coming in to paint her face in um, and finalizing and finalizing this. And I have been on six, 6 o'clock, and it's almost 8. So it has taken me between the chatting and the laughing and everything else uh, approximately two hours, maybe a little less than that because I didn't start to maybe a few minutes in um, getting this whole thing together. So actually in no time you can have something that is beautiful and that you will be happy to share and display in your house or give as a gift, which I do more often than not. You have to be okay with yourself and you have to be forgiving and accepting um, of your process. We all learn differently and we all create differently and that is quite all right. That is what makes art beautiful, is that expression. So you have to be okay with that. I'll put all of these details, um, her eyes and her lips and just everything back in. Um, I am just kind of, um, you know, adding this little bit and piece right here. Now that I am no longer spraying, any little detail that I feel that I have to kind of go over that, I will go over that with um, a finer brush and um, getting her shape exactly how I want it. But it's a little bit of, you know, just playing with it and seeing what happens. Ah, I just broke the tip off the wing, but that's okay. That is a okay. Alrighty, so. I am, I am in love with it. Every time I do one of these, I'm like, I'm in love with it. I'm in love with it. <laughs> I do this every time. Yes, I'm also going to be doing a, a, a faster version of this. So I'm going to download this later and re-upload it um, in, a, in, a faster, in a faster version. So that if anybody wants to kind of like look at what I did as I did it, they can go ahead and do that. If you guys got to go on a potty break, go on your potty break. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go and dry this really quickly. Um, and then I'll be back for the final, the final part of it, which is drawing her face in. <gasps> be right back.
All right, guys, I'm back. And my flower fell off, but it's okay. I'm going to stick it back on. And I am going to have to paint this, um, add some of the metallic paints that I use on the other stuff, just to get it all matching. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. Right now is FaceTime, you guys. It is FaceTime. So I'm going to turn off my glue gun, and I'm going to start trying to paint this face, draw this face in here. So I'm trying to get myself like a little... Like a little ledge here so that I can um I have my little easel but I have it taken apart and I have it over there somewhere. So I'm gonna try to um draw this in. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to draw this in. Um, this is not really for, um, this is paint, so it's not really for drawing, but I'm just going to draw this in anyway. Just trying to see, make sure that they come out somewhat even. My hands are filthy, you guys. Got filthy. Um, and again, I'm gonna do the little upper lid. Do the little upper lid here. The eyebrows. nose I'm kind of terrible with uh, painting these nose but we're gonna make two I'll fix that as I go and her lips and she shouldn't be smiling if she's an evil one but I'm gonna make her smile because I like making people smile, so I'm just gonna leave it like so. Actually, her lips should be down here, not up there. And hopefully you can see what I'm drawing. I'm gonna box her lips out just a little bit. Just gonna box them out. Like so. This is where chin area kind of goes. So now that I have that, let me just try to um, kind of go in with her eyes. She's very wide eyed here. So I just want to make sure that I capture that. So her pupils. Yes. I am going to be painting her face, Isabel. So this is why I wanted to make sure that I had like all these little um, things in place um, so that I can get her face in. 
but I, I don't think I'm gonna paint her face in too much of a regular color. I think I'm gonna use some of this neon light blue um, and maybe mix it in with some white to make it like a paler blue because she's supposed to be from the sea. So I'm gonna add, um, I think that's how I'm gonna do it. I think that's how I'm gonna do it. So I'm just gonna for right now, and I'm not even gonna wet my brush, I'm just gonna kind of go in and get her eyes darkened up. And I probably did this way better than I needed to, but. I'm gonna try to keep it in frame. This is, uh, I'm not used to painting so far away from me. Usually I have things like right up on me. Just like when I drive, I usually have the steering wheel on my chest. Um, <laughs> I know. People always make fun of me because of that, because I'm one of those that I drive with my head pretty much right on the windshield. I just can't help it. <laughs> I need to have full control. And I feel like I don't have control if I don't have that thing right on me. <laughs> so let's see here. Um, um, let's see. I'm going to start adding some of this blue. I'm going to use my lid here to add some of this blue. And I'm probably going to lighten it up just a little bit, depending on how dark it is. Um, to lighten it up and I'm going to darken it up. I also have a little bit of navy blue just to darken it up in some areas, but lighten it up in others. Um, and this is everlasting. It's a chalky finish kind of paint and that's regular acrylic. So this one has a little bit of tooth to it when it dries, but that one doesn't. So I'm just going to try to lighten it up and find a nice little tone in between. Um, to kind of start laying in some of this color. I'm gonna start with her eye with her eyelids. And actually, let me go ahead and add a little bit of that darker blue. And this is a navy blue and acrylic. And I'm just gonna add a little bit right here because I don't want I don't want to make it too dark, but I do need that um, that blue contrast in it. So I'm gonna just gonna grab a little bit of that blue, just to kind of darken it up. And then I'm gonna go with the white and the blue mix and just kind of try to blend that out some. And that is a very light neon blue color, but it's a very bright um, blue color, so. I could have left her kind of grayish, um, but if I wanna add gray to her, I can always go back in and do that later. But right now, I just wanna kind of do it like this. Anything that I lose, I can always paint back in. And this is why I saw you guys, that this is the part that worries me the most. Because if these things are not um, up to par like they need to be, then uh, everything else pretty much is like, um, okay. So this really has to be um, on fleek, if you will, as they say. Has to be on point. But I do want her to have that feeling, um, that appearance of her being from the sea. 
And I think if I would have painted her skin tone, it just would not have looked realistic enough, um, at least for my liking, of where she's really supposed to kind of be from. And I'm not worried about anything that I lose as far as detail because I'll add those things in. I just wanted to make sure that I know where the eyes are and the lips are. The eyebrows, I don't care because I can always add those in. So a little bit of blue at a time, just a little dab so that I can blend it in nicely. I don't want to have um, too much of it just kind of everywhere. It's a little hard to kind of paint at an angle. I won't lie. And I'm not using any water. I kind of want these rough um, kind of strokes in there. I want her face to have texture. So I'm not using any water. I'm just laying paint. Um, because I just want her to have these really, really rough um, kind of looking skin. I want them to blend, but I don't need them to blend like that. Under her neck, I'm gonna use a little bit of blue just to create that shadow. And then kind of go over it again. Her cheeks, instead of a blush, I'm gonna use the blue to kind of give her that um, cheeky kind of look. I'm just adding a little bit of paint at a time so I find the right balance of what I want. And then I'll go over it with um, some markers so that I can pull out some of the details in her face. Kind of like how fishes have many different colors um, in order to blend in or to scare away their attackers, she kind of has many different colors as well. I don't have any right rate white the how can I say it? I don't have a right way of painting, so I can tell you it's better to use the brush this way or that way. Um, I just lay the paint. Um, however the paint strokes go, they go. I know some people have um, pet peeves about how the paint brush kind of lays the paint down. I don't really care. This is about having fun for me. Um, I just encourage you to pick up the brush. How you use it is completely up to you. Now I'm just picking up some of that um, neon blue and just kind of laying it uh, right over where I laid that original um, color of navy blue. And going back into the bowl, just so that I can add um, those subtle and there's a lot of texture in the gesso because of the way that I laid the gesso down. Um, I used a really wide brush to lay the gesso down, so it left a lot of um streaks into the paint so there's a lot of texture in there right now so it's picking up the paint and you can see a lot of that grit um in the background which i think is really awesome once i'm done i'll fix her shape and i'll just paint it black um and i'll figure it out that way and I'm gonna go into this with um, 
some pencils and some marker just to kind of get the whole thing uh, looking the way I want it to look. And I kind of erased the whole nose, but it's okay. I'll put it back in. I'll put it back in now, maybe with pencil as opposed to paint. I'm much better at drawing these things than painting them. Well, faces, I mean. There's just some things you really can't do. But I'm going to add a little bit of this eggplant purple just to see what happens. I'm going to be using this mainly for like her lips um, and maybe to add here and there. I'm only going to use a little dot of it. Just a little dot. I'm going to lighten it up, pick up some blue. Okay, I'm just picking a little bit of it up. This one, I'm leaving it just a little bit darker. A little bit of that blue, just a little bit, just to darken this up a little bit. Pick up some of that. And once this dries, I'll come back in and just adjust it a little bit more. I'm going to pick up a little bit of this eggplant, a little bit of this blue, a little bit of this other blue. And I'm trying to give her an ombre effect right there. Pick up more, a little dab of each color, of the three colors. And come on here and do the same thing right over. Where her eyebrow is supposed to be. So you guys can kind of see where I'm going with this whole thing. I'm going to do the same thing. A little bit more blue this time. And I think I'm going to lay her eyebrows right there. A little bit of purple, a little bit of blue. And hopefully I can do the same thing on the other side. Don't you just hate it when you do your eyebrows and one side comes out looking amazing and then the other side is like, eh, just missing something. Uh, so let's see. I'm trying to see where I put this. And just as I suspected, but it's okay. They both cannot be perfect, unfortunately. That would be nice, but not in the real world. Notice how I did that with, with one. It's called being a righty. <laughs> Yay, you still here. Yay. This one came out on fleek. This one came out like, eh, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I'm going to try to fix that. I'm going to try to fix it. By just giving it a little undertone. And again, I'm not wetting my brush. I am just 
layering paint on top of paint without even cleaning the brush, really. Your brush gets a little stiff, then by all means wet it up, which I'm about to do, but only because it's getting stiff, but not because I'm trying to wash away the color. I like how these colors are kind of marrying with each other. I love how this purple is kind of giving her life and giving her, you know, is bringing her in. I don't know how well you guys can see that because I know my light is a little bright. Um, uh, hopefully you guys can see that lavender and that purple kind of popping on her and she's got a lot of different stuff going on here but that's okay that's what it's about for me it is um about all of these different colors kind of coming in I kind of like that. Um, let me see if I get a different. Do I have a smaller one? Yeah. Let me see if I can get this little smaller one right here to kind of um, help me to fix this eyebrow. Kind of extend it just a little bit. All right, that's as good as it's gonna get for that one. We just extend this one all the way out as well. All right, so that works for me. <clears throat> I'm going to use the same colors that I've been using so far to kind of um, go into her nose. Let me see, because I got to do this right. <coughs> I got to do this right. So um, her nose, bridge of her thing is right there. And pretty much I'm just using the neon blue <coughs> as like my blending, my blending um, color here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and I gave her two little hooks there. Then I'm gonna go. Wanna give you some of <clears throat> I got something stuck. <laughs> Let me just drink some water, you guys. Okay. 
Thank you, Bill. I'm still kind of dragging my paint. I'm using all three colors, the baby, the neon baby blue, um, the navy, and a little bit of that eggplant purple. And that is pretty much uh, how I am kind of adding all these different things in here. So you see. just creating some shadow now by utilizing again those three colors to shape out most of her face. And I don't know if you can see the colors well. Because I'm looking at them on my monitor, and I don't know if you guys can see them as as beautiful as it looks. But if you don't follow me on Instagram, then please go check me out at Design Elemental. I will have pictures there of the final products. Um, and I will be trying to download this to re-upload it um, so that I can show you guys more or less what it's look, all looking like in a different kind of pace. I know this is a little probably a little hard sometimes to watch uh, the three hours worth. I do appreciate those of you that have stuck around and watched um, the whole the whole three hours. It really does mean a lot to me. Just kind of adding a little bit of shadow here and there. And I'm using the smallest little brush that I can find pretty much um, so that I don't overdo it too much. Which in my case is virtually impossible. I'm always overdoing stuff. But trying, I'm trying. <laughs> trying, trying, all the time trying. That's all we can ever do, right? I really do love how these three colors kind of blend together. Um, I honestly probably would have never thought to use these three colors together, but I'm very glad that I did because I feel like it's bringing a lot of um, detail into it. And I really like how it's all coming together.
And I think that they are the perfect colors for her. Oh, thank you, Isabel. You made my night, my friends. You made my night. I can tell you that. I don't want to go too crazy with the lips, but I need a finer line brush so that I can really get these lips with better detail. I'm going to try to. This box is awkward now to hold because of all the stuff that's on it. So I'm trying to kind of get this little detail line. There we go. That was just a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> um, let's see. Let me try to use a little bit of black. Not a lot. I just want the teeniest little amount. So I'm going to dry off most of my brush and just try to go in here with just some of this little black. Just a little bit. Um, we went that with some of that maybe. A little bit of black blue. Black blue. It's so easy to concentrate and get lost doing something like this. Every time I'm overwhelmed or stressed out or something like that, this is pretty much my go-to thing because it's just so easy to kind of get lost. And I think this is one of the best faces that I've made and I don't even know how long. I just love how it's coming up. That's a very slow kind of process, I know. But it's worth it if you take your time. It's very worth it if you take your time. 
you never want to rush too much when you're doing something like this. So again, going into my navy blue, my purple, and just kind of adding, uh, adding and taking away because I don't want it to be too overwhelmed with uh, the shadowing. I just want there to be a little bit of shadowing in there. And I'm going to probably be fixing her neck, which I probably should have done because her neck looks very, very weird right now. Um, her neck should actually be like so. And it should actually be like so. Not the way that I had it. So all of that actually goes in black. All of these other things. I'm going to paint in black and then just tap it off. Yeah, right? It does. It kind of makes the whole thing kind of come together a little bit for me. At least a little bit better. And now I'm just going to add a little bit more shadowing of just some of the top areas where she would have shadow because she's got all this hair kind of happening here. She's got all these things on her head that are kind of happening. So I'm just going to add um, wherever I feel like she would have um, somewhat of a shadow. I'm just going to add a little bit of that purple, that navy blue. If I feel that I get too ahead of myself, then I'll just bring it back um, with a little bit of that um, neon blue all by itself. And speaking of which, that's exactly what I did. <laughs> that's exactly what I did. But I just love all of the texture on her face. Um, I really love this piece. And I think when you can create something that you actually can say, like, oh, my God, I really, really love it then you've done your job. There's nothing else to do. You can drop the mic <laughs> at that point in time. My paints are slowly starting to dry, but it's okay. And I always tend to overdo things. I always tend to always overdo it. So I'm going to try not to overdo this one because I think she's quite perfect um, as she is already. I'm just, ugh, put the pin in the wrong spot, but it's okay. I give her a little bit of highlight here and there. A little bit of highlight is not bad. Just a little bit. So I'll open that up just a smidge. Um, let's Pushing those shadow just back a little bit.
I want them there, but I don't want them to be so overwhelming. I quite like that. Adding a little bit of brightness to her nose area. Like that. All right. <laughs> Thank you, my darling. Thank you so, so much. I wish I made her smaller because then I could have definitely been like, hey, who wants to get this? <laughs> but she's just so large that I think it would be hard for me to find a box to put her in. Um, it would be awesome, though, to find a box to put her in. So let me just um, color these pencil lines in. And um, I'm going to finish adding um, adding some of the, whatchamacallit, uh, metallics that I have to add here so that I can um, pretty much finish her off. And she is done. And she's kind of like a baby goddess because she's kind of petite. She's not full-blown goddess yet. She's trying to become full-blown goddess, but she hasn't gotten there just yet. She's not quite there yet. That's on there nice now. So let me go ahead and paint these, um, paint this thing here. And then I'm going to be done, I think. Well, I got to do her eyes. But other than that, and speaking of eyes, let me just, no, don't flip over. Um, a little too thick. Just scratching some white lines into it. Just to make it look like there's something reflecting in them, but we don't necessarily know what it is. Um, to take some of that away, I can overdo it. I'll just go back into it with some of the black. Just go back into it some of that black and we're all good to go. She's got something reflecting there. We don't necessarily know what. Just scratching in some of that color. Too thick. Just scratching it in. Let 
my hands are got filthy. <laughs> but I am in love with her. She looks beautiful. I'm just trying to find a marker now that I can use to, I'm going over some of these lines with. Um, I'm pretty much just using a fine tip. I'm gonna be doing the rest of these, um, the rest of the paint in about a minute. Right now I'm just trying to um, get her eyes to look a little bit more rounder in shape. Um, but, you know, maybe whatever I missed. So that we can see some of those details, like her eyes and um, the lips, and just so on and so forth. And I am going to um, paint the rest of her eye white because I've noticed even fishes have white eyes. <laughs> so I'm going to paint the rest of her eyeball white and then just hook her up like that. I think. This would be perfect. Yay. I like how this is looking. I really do. I think um, as far as faces I've painted, especially on, on live, I definitely feel like she's one of the best that I've done so far. And I think that what I wanted to accomplish with her, I definitely did. So I'm very pleased in that department. Now to paint her little eye, her little eyeball area white, and I just hope that I have a brush that can do that for me, without me messing up too badly. So let's see. Oh, I have white here already. I'm trying to see where's my other brush. Which one is smaller? I think this one's smaller than that one. Well, maybe I want to go in with this one instead. Just because she's teenier, I might have more control with this little teeny one here than with that big one. So let me just kind of go in. And there's texture on here, so um, there's dry glue, unfortunately, that seems to have fallen into this area here. I 
that's okay. You just do the best you can. That's all anybody can ever ask of you. You just do the best you can. And that's that. <clears throat> I love it. Oh my God, I love it. Little things just make everything else pop out so nicely. Right? Don't you agree? Little things just make everything else just... pop up so nicely. Just adding a little bit of um, highlight around her lips by just um, lightly kind of brushing on some white here. And also, we're going to be accentuating the lips just a little bit. And I'm going back into with the purple and the navy. So just Tapping it in. So she's got a little bit of something going on. There we go. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Now for her eyes. What color am I gonna make her eyes? What color am I gonna make her eyes? I don't know. Maybe I can add some of my metallic paints on her eyes and make her eyes really kind of glow. Let's try a little bit of green maybe. Let's try a little bit of green. I'm going to try a little bit at a time and just see how I like it. Trying some of that metallic green. Just try a little bit of gold. Just kind of bring it around her eyes a little bit. A little bit at a time. So we have more control over how much we put in. So just a little dab of it at a time. Let's get some teal, since I'm gonna need it anyway, in order to um, cover up, you know, get her neck right. <laughs> Let's get a little bit of teal, just a little dot, just enough to kind of add maybe a little bit of teal right here. 
have a virtue like that. I'm loving that. Oh my God, I'm loving it. Loving it, loving it. Let's go a little bit more green. Go a little dark with it. Here. A little bit more gold, which kind of blends um, all of them together. Her eyes look amazing. I should definitely use. Um, this more often, metallic paints for the eyes. It really does a beautiful job. Especially because you can have it as sheer as you want um, or as dark. It really does, really, really nice. I just love their metallic paints overall. I really do. hands to top it off. I'm gonna bring some of this white. I'm gonna try to um, add a little bit of white in it as well. Right on the outside. <laughs> I love it. I love it, love it, you guys. And I hope that you guys can see how well. Oh, it came back? I think that happens when I hit like three hours for some reason. Every time I hit like an, a certain hour mark, like um, it'll just kind of disappear on me. Now I'm going to um, just finish off these sides right here with just some of this paint that I have left over. Just to try to be very gentle so that I don't go over her lines. The only thing is that I made it, um, I lightened it up on this part here, so I might have to add just a little bit of black just to kind of darken it up. That it all matches. Yes, I did um, kind of um, make it too light so it'll be different. We're almost done with this. Just dabbing on some some of these uh, paints here, just to make the whole thing kind of be one cohesive um, unit. Do the same thing on the other side, and this piece will be pretty much done. And I cannot believe how gorgeous. It literally came out like I do these things and honestly I don't even believe that my hands created them and that is what's so amazing to me because I never really know what I want to do all the way through and through at least I don't have a complete vision I just have an idea and I just try to execute that idea as best as my mind tells me to execute it and it always amazes me <laughs> my little brain never disappoints well sometimes I won't say never. Sometimes things just do not work well, but I am never discouraged. I always keep trying. And I am glad that this worked out good. 
because my whole concern i've been saying it from the beginning is her face oh my god her face and her face actually worked out beautifully so i'm very happy i think this is the nicest face i've done so i'm like oh my god i can't believe it <laughs> i can't believe it i see it and i can't believe it so i'm very very pleased overall with the outcome of how it came out let me address this little flower here and just use up all of these metallic paints that i have left over so that i don't put nothing to waste you can't waste especially metallic paints no 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 you have them you use them <laughs> so just add a little bit of black in here But I, I mean, honestly, I amaze myself sometimes because you just never know, you know, you you start working on something, you never really know how it's going to turn out. You always have the, the best hope for it. Like, you know, you hope it comes out well, but sometimes it doesn't work out the way you want to, but you can't be disappointed because you learn for, even from any, you know, even from your worst disaster, I'm going to call it like that because I've had those. Um, you can still come up with something good. You can still learn like, okay, these two things definitely don't go together. Um, yeah, don't do that again. And you learn and you evolve and you just keep trying. What did I learn today? That a little bit of paint at a time is way better than a lot of paint at a time, at least for faces for me. Usually I'll go all in and I'll put a whole bunch of paint here and a whole bunch of paint there. And I think I got a way better result, mainly because I used a little bit of paint at a time. I did not go too crazy. I allowed it to kind of do what it wanted to do. Just gonna kind of add paint wherever, um, wherever I can because I have paint left over and I do not want to waste it. So I'm not gonna so much paint as I am more that's just gonna let it catch wherever it wants to catch and I'll just let it do that. So I'm just kind of using it flat. Um, I'm just letting it catch wherever it kind of wants to catch. But I really did like how this came out overall. I think she, you know, everything came out pretty. Um, these pieces per se don't have nothing to do with each other. <laughs> Dang, motorcycles. Um, these pieces per se have nothing to do with each other. I mean, I have pearls, flowers, I have a fairy in there, I have an anchor. I mean, I have a bunch of different things that really have nothing to do with each other. But um, I think that at the, at the grand scheme of it all, they look beautiful together. Um, and they all played their part, if you will. They all um, brought something to the, the finished product. And I am happy. I am very, very happy with this and I'll try to do more of these because I know I don't do these as often as I should I'll try to do more um, sometimes I just don't have the materials or I've used up all the materials which in my case you guys see how much stuff I put in here it's very easy to use up your scraps of different stuff so it takes me a while sometimes to collect them um, but I will and I'll get it in. I'm just using up the last little bit of paint and then I'm gonna let you guys kind of go because she is finito and I'll show you what she looks like um, at the end, uh, you know, how it all came, kind of came out. And I think I'm good with my brush for now. So I'm gonna start putting my brushes in water, letting them all kind of get cleaned up. Um, the last thing I'm going to really do here is to just um, kind of go over the eyes just a little bit more. And other than that, I think she's about done. I didn't really want to go too crazy with eyelashes. Um, I'm just going to kind of squiggle uh, just the faint impression that there's something happening there, but not going too, too crazy with, um, with what the eyelashes would be. Just 
close off these eyes because we have darkness there and we have darkness here, if you will. So I'm just going to close that off. And that is really it for me today. No, never give up, Isabel. Never, ever, 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 ever give up. Because a little bit at a time, practice one thing at a time. Practice your eyes. Practice your noses. Practice your lips. Then practice lips and noses. Then practice lips, noses, and eyes. Then practice shapes of faces because the shape of the face can be anything. So you don't need to constrain yourself to certain dimensions at the beginning. First, capture the moment by learning how to draw them individually. To a certain extent, draw, try different styles and then see how you feel. That's how I did it. I didn't just kind of go into it and was like, oh, I did it a little at a time. I, I, I've always been fascinated with eyes. So for me, I always try to capture the, the moment with the eyes mostly. So I focus a lot on the eyes. Um, but everything else is just as important. The nose is a little hard for me, but the nose today actually came out really well, so I'm super shocked. And I think that's probably one of the reasons why I love this so much is because her nose looks perfect to me. And I normally don't get a perfect nose. That doesn't happen. Um, but you just try that a little bit at a time. I mean, that's what I did. I would just draw little clusters and I would just draw eyes, 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 all the time, all the time, eyes. Um, you know, start with an almond shape, cut that almond shape in half, and then start drawing in the details. Don't focus too much. Don't focus too much on, on the little tiny things. Just get the basic shapes together. Let your comfortable feel, let your hands feel comfortable and your brain register what your hand is doing. And I think if you do that enough times, it'll be kind of automatic. Um, it gets to a point where you kind of automatically just do certain things. Um, you'll have a certain style, which is your style, which is perfect, and it'll be beautiful. So we're not, we don't all draw the same. We don't all have the same technique. We're not meant to. We're not meant to. Everybody draws different. Pa you know, Picasso is very different from Van Gogh. They're all very different. Everybody draws very different. They all paint very different. And that is what makes art beautiful. It's everybody's, you know, interpretation. There's different ways of doing things. Where did you go, Liz? I just, I finished. <laughs> I did it already, girl, I finished it. Look, 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 look. Look at my beautiful sea goddess. Oh, okay. Hopefully it should resolve. Yes, please do. Please do, because this stuff here, this is the last thing I've tried to do in life. The first thing I try to do is paint regular, draw regular, and painting, painting faces, um, actually came later, 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 later on. First, I, I'm, I, I like to draw, so I just would draw. And when I painted, I would just paint regular, you know, paint trees and paint mountains and paint lakes. At least they look like lakes to me and paint, you know, to me. And eventually, with time, you just get a little bit better, a little bit better. I'm still working at it. That's why today, to me, this is like a major, major breakthrough, honestly, because I've never, I don't think I've ever really painted like this before. Um, I think this is my very first time with something coming out. I would say to this level. To me, this is a new level. And I hope that I could recreate it again. Um, I'm going to try to recreate it again. Uh, but I don't know if I will, but it's okay. I'm just happy it happened today and I caught it live. <laughs> yes, darling. I love it. And I got my little fairy here and just all the different little elements. And I think she came out gorgeous. Look at the sides. I mean, I didn't go too crazy with the sides. Just a little bit of um, hot glue on the sides. But, um, and that's the top. It has hot glue there too. But I love it. And at the end of the day, as long as you love it, and if you don't love it, try again. Try again, try again, try again until you love it. That I love it. <laughs> a recycled box, right? Who would have known? <laughs> if you put this on a wall, you would never tell that was from a recycled box. 
so I'm gonna take some pictures of this. I'm gonna bring this vi um this video down because what I'm gonna do actually I should have stuck that more to the neck, but oh well, I, I had originally had my neck over here. I should have used this as a guideline because now I have my thing all the way over there. I have my my um my wing off to the side, but it's okay. It's okay. Um I'm gonna put the video down. I'm gonna try to shorten it up. I have to see how I do this now because I have Windows 10 Pro. And it doesn't have a, a movie maker in it, which is what I used before. And I don't know how this is gonna work. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna use this as a as a jumping off point to kind of try to fix the video um editing, see how I do that. But I really love it. I'm gonna send this over this picture over to um my Instagram and put that up real quick. And um yeah, I'm gonna have another video for this. I'm gonna be I'm gonna probably rename this whole thing. And I'm gonna call her Goddess of the Sea um something or the other she started off looking like frankenstein right there she don't look like frankenstein no more <laughs> that's why sometimes you gotta stick with them you gotta stick with it because you never know you never really know how things are gonna work out at the end you will be surprised Let's put this more down here so you can see actually the whole thing you'll be surprised you gotta definitely stick with it and thank you my friends so so much because she started, I mean, she started off looking like Frankenstein. That was my goal. So when you told me she looked like Frankenstein, I was like, yes, that's what I wanted. Um, but to see her turn up like this is like, wow. I'm, I'm, I'm in shock right now. I can't believe it. Now she looked like a tree trunk. You got jokes, Liz. It is all right. I love you anyway. <laughs> Crazy ass. <laughs> she says you look like a tree trunk. <laughs> this is bad. You're bad. <laughs> tree trunk got it. She can't be a tree trunk. She got octopus sticking out of her head. <laughs> well, darling, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and if you want to see this whole process, just stay tuned because, like I said, I'm gonna try to work on getting a faster um, version of this with some music in the background. But at least you guys will get to see me create. And I'm gonna start putting up more videos like that of me just creating these kinds of things, um, you know, more regularly. And I'll try to make some smaller ones. Maybe I'll have some giveaways and stuff and some of my videos coming up. So, yay. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Hugs and kisses from me to you. Have a blessed night. Have an awesome week. And um, I'll catch you guys hopefully on my next live stream, which will be Tuesday for cards, simply cards on Tuesday, and then Wednesday, not Wednesday, I'm sorry, Thursday, for my mixed media Thursday, mixed media everything on Thursday. Bye. I'm not gonna delete the live. <laughs> I'm not gonna delete the live. I'm gonna sound crazy as heck, but I won't delete the live. People are gonna think I'm just nuts. <laughs> Bye.